It's your boy Warren B. Author of Pimp God, which my mama should have told you. It's another show on the Gloves Off Tip. And um, today's topic is going to be bossing up, which is something that uh, brothers need to uh, consider as we adjust ourselves to the changes that's taking place. And um, we encourage brothers to think of themselves as bosses even if you're an employee, because, um, you know, one of the number one skills of any entrepreneur is, is raising money. And you don't want to just count on somebody else keeping you employed. So you gotta come up with some um, ingenious ways, creative ways to keep money flowing in. And then eventually you might be able to find something where you don't need a job at all. So that's what we need to be moving towards. Yeah. So, as always, I wanted to start out with um, some questions on this subject. Number one, a lot of times when men do things, they do things honestly because they're trying to influence women or get women to see them in a certain way. So even if it's the boss, you know, tight vibe. Is it because they really, they really see themselves that way, or is it because they want women to see themselves that way? You know, to see them that way. And so, my first question is: um, In the real grand scheme of things, how does a woman know that she's with a boss versus the average man? How does she know that she's actually with a boss? Well, based on my experience and mm -hmm. um, being a boss yeah. for so many years, mm -hmm. a woman know when, especially, see, one thing about women, man, they look for the consistency, first of all, uh -huh. as a boss. Yeah. You have to be consistent. Be but consistent. it's not just what you're saying, it's how you operate and move. How you operate, yeah. And just giving her instruction. Yeah. So. Uh, whatever projects that you're working on that you say that you were doing yep. they're watching just to gauge because every now and then you'll notice if you're dealing with a woman the little subtlety you could be doing something random yeah washing dishes or watching tv she'd be like oh so whatever happened to the idea you was going to do with the skating ring or something something whatever the nature is and you look over and say, where the hell did that come from? Mm -hmm. Because they're constantly looking for that inconsistency. Yeah, probing. Yeah, exactly. Looking for that. Um, to invalidate. To invalidate, yep. So that means that it was in her head. Like, it was just sitting there. And don't think that she don't hear everything you say. Yeah. Because they do. Even they when do. it look like she's not paying attention. Even when they're on the phone. We yeah. just have bionic ears. So whatever you say out your mouth while she's flipping through that phone, and that she heard your ass. Yeah, that's true. But anyway, go ahead. But so how do you, so I'm, I'm saying to men that how do you, uh, how does a woman see you as a, a boss is that right there. First of all, you got to be consistent. Got to be consistent. What, you, what you're doing, not just what you're saying. Right. Um, but what you're doing. Secondly, um, actually getting her not completely involved it just depends on what you're doing right um but you got to hold her accountable for things that you are doing and she needs to um but you need to consistently be on her ass about hey you know did you handle once you give her instructions mm -hmm. as a boss because you're running this relationship you're running um this business relationship that y'all have together so you have to give her a strong instruction on that and then you then in turn monitoring her progress even in a relationship too yeah. based on the instruction that you gave her mm -hmm. so you start looking at her inconsistencies and stuff like that now which is how she knows that you're a true boss because either woman going to accept that or she's going to get uh, annoyed and irritant you think that you all that um you, you think you know everything and um which i've heard what you, and also uh what's the other one um 
You're not better than me. They just say you're not better than me. Or you're not the only one that's doing, doing so. Oh, that's a classic one too. You're not the you're only You're not the one. only one that's doing it. And then it come out, that one comes out of nowhere too. Yeah. I've heard that of me. I'm like, okay, well, I'm not, I didn't, I wasn't, I need, you know, I'm responsible for me. Right. And what we're doing in my home, I'm like, I don't understand. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, and it's constantly competition with, oh, uh, did you see my friend? Uh, he has a business, uh, he, he, he owns two salons. Mm -hmm. uh, you have one. It's always more numbers, you know. Somebody's doing more than you. Yeah. But all that to say is once it gets to that point, She's actually trying to like measure you, like you're not doing much of anything, but that's also a sign too, man, that you are doing something, that you are bossing up, because over time, she either gonna stick with it or she just gonna roll, roll. Most of the time, they just leave. Yeah. So she can see that, you know what I mean? She can feel that you're holding her responsible for doing something and handling tasks that you asked her to do. Mm -hmm. And if you, and you consistently doing them. That's right. She, she, you know, she. There's no room, no wiggle room for her not to, you know, basically accept your uh, your position as the boss in the relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's real. That's definitely real. Um, and that's the interesting part too when you said that the fact that she's challenging you about what you're about, what you say that you represent that proves that you are that. Yeah. You have to measure me. I'm only reiterating that because a lot of dudes say shit like, all you got to do is handle your business, be a man, step up to the plate, and she's going to fall in line when she sees you representing manhood. And that's like... If it's a black woman, she you could almost bet that she's going to do the opposite just because of that, you know, because they're not used to it. Black women are not raised to rep, to respect masculine, black masculine authority. Mm -hmm. So when you represent that, you know, it's going to be something that she is... Um, she feels oppositional towards. You almost have to judge whether or not you're a real boss by the opposition that you face with a woman. Yeah. You really do. And um, on the pimp side, you know, Berg said that a pretty, a pretty white bitch and a pretty nigger bitch, that's how he put it. He said they only get into a stable for one reason. And that's the record. And so other people are observing the woman or women that you have in your life. And you you bossing up. And dudes be like, man, I wanna be, I wanna, I want that, I wanna be in that position. But they probably couldn't handle the constant pressure that this woman is actually, or women are actually um, representing for a man. Because she's constantly looking for a crack in your shell, she's looking for the easiest way to crack that egg, mm -hmm. you know, and expose your your weakness, your softness, your whatever. And um, I also noticed this too, and I'm sure you can attest to this. The more focused that a man becomes on his definite chief aim, the more opposition that a lot of times women get. So it, they, they, their opposition increases with your measure of focus. When you start putting the pieces together and start making deals and meetings and stuff like that, she really starts arguing more, you know? And it could be one of two reasons. One, like my ex, she feared failure. Yeah. So you might actually represent and embody success. And the, the potentiality of that. For the first time, this ain't a Pookie and Ray Ray that she's smarter than. And this dude actually has a, a blueprint. He might actually get there and move me into an environment that I'm not used to, that I'm, I might not feel comfortable with. You know, you move a chick from the projects around nothing but dimes that they all make, you know, 80, 
100 plus. 